The Halloween season is almost at its conclusion, and for those who celebrate this yearly event, I hope you have something fun planned for the evening. If not, you can always waste away the time between carloads of kids by playing some games on your iOS device. Though, if you're home, you may just be watching TV or playing a console. Shame on you. However, let's not dilly-dally around. I have costumes to complete and meals to prepare, so here's the Friday news wrap-up for the 28th of October, 2011. I could be all super old and mean and claim that if you don't love the Peanuts cartoon, then you're nothing but a cold, heartless shell of a human being. But that wouldn't be productive now, would it? Honestly, you'll either love the idea of this to bits or not, but it looks like Capcom's next major release is set to do to Peanuts what they did to the Smurfs, and despite the handful of mishaps from parents who left themselves recently logged into iTunes, for a freemium game, it's still a huge success. So, do you have what it takes to pull off a Street Fair while taking control of the lovable Snoopy? Street Fair is set to hit the App Store on the 17th of November. This piece of news is definitely more for the hardcore fans of the series who just can't get enough of the Prince's antics as he rolls up the denizens of Earth for the pleasure of the King. The latest update to the game, released yesterday, added six new stages plus a bonus tech end stage. The Time Trip Pack is available for unlocking in the online store for a currently discounted price of $3.99 US. So yeah, definitely one for the hardcore fans. However, if you're after a real bargain, you can check out most of Namco Bandai's games on the App Store, as they're currently on sale at 50% off or more until midnight Pacific Standard Time, Monday 31st of October. Perhaps one of the biggest complaints we had at App Spy about The Dark Meadow was the way in which the game managed to hamstring its pacing and spookiness by packing the game full of monsters that required lengthy after-combat sequences. With that in mind, it's great to see Phosphor Games attempting to recapture the haunting feeling of their game by reducing the amount of monsters wandering and removing the post-combat summary screen. Other tweaks to the game include a higher level cap from 40 to 50, the addition of save slots to have multiple games running, and a new game plus for those after a harder challenge. If you haven't already picked up Dark Meadow, the game is currently on sale until Halloween for $2.99 US. A great spooky treat for the holiday season. Despite being a fan of comics, I must admit more than a little ignorance when it comes to the story of Eliza Cameron, a journalist stuck between the realms of the living and the dead as she attempts to solve her own murder. Set for release in early 2012, the so-called first-person mystery Ghost, otherwise known as a hidden object adventure game, seems like an interesting way to bring a comic to life. If you're a fan of the comics, hit up the comments and let us know what you think. This piece of news has me conflicted. On one hand, the Wizardry series is a classic that certainly deserves at least some mention. However, the recent release of Labyrinth of Souls on the PlayStation Network was so true to its roots that it sort of missed the part where it's 2011, not 1981. Surprisingly, despite being a personal fan of the work of RPG Studio Atlas, their 2001 reboot of the series passed me by. So this recent reboot of a reboot was truly surprising. At any rate, the game is set to see its way onto iOS devices, with a copy of the game dropping on the App Store on the 3rd of November. If you love classic dungeon crawling, and I do mean real dungeon crawling, graph paper and all, no minimaps, then keep an eye out for this one. While this may not excite many of our viewers, I'm always interested in checking out games that come out of smaller studios out there. And by small, I mean super small, because there's a chance you might find something truly special and unique. Unfortunately, Okarbot isn't quite on the upper tiers of being one of those hidden gems. However, fans of puzzle games may still get a kick out of this little robot's plight. Each room simply requires you to get to the exit. You have three controls to complete this task, moving left, right, and going up ladders. Being set in what is essentially a platform-based world, these restrictions bring complications of their own, even before you have to navigate the simple hazards such as pits or magnets. Thankfully, Okabot can push around blocks to move past them, Sokoban style, and with 50 levels to conquer, it's not an easy game to complete. The retro style of the game feels more like a shortcut rather than a serious artistic choice, but the chiptune soundtrack can be catchy. It would have helped if the game included more user-friendly options such as the ability to undo moves, as having a single mistake ruin a puzzle at the last moment can be a serious chore. It's not perfect, but Okabot scratches that brain-tickling itch if you have it. As much as I'd like to pretend that there's another game that can pip the first place post for this week, Modern Combat 3 is just too strong a contender, knocking out its opponents left and right. Although there are a lot of obvious shortcomings in the game's single-player campaign, the multiplayer is where this title truly shines, and as the servers start to stabilise and players start to unlock more weaponry, the game's true colours are beginning to shine. 
Many attempts have been made to bring a competitive first-person shooter scene to the iOS, and many have fallen to the wayside. Modern Combat 3 improves on its predecessor by only a margin, but it's enough to make it worthwhile for any action fan after a fast-paced online shooter. As always, you can keep track of our updates at AppSpy via Twitter, Facebook or RSS, and we'll be back after the weekend to bring you a whole bunch of juicy reviews. Until then, enjoy the weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.